Hi, good morning. morning. All right, do you all want to hear about the first assignment that you have for this class? Did anybody check their email this morning? Did you get that MapWorks email from me? All right, that's your first assignment for this week. All right, Uh, that survey. It takes probably about 20 minutes. And the survey is going to tell you a lot about yourself. It's going to tell you about how you fit in at NSU, what challenges might lie ahead, and then what resources uh, will help you meet those challenges. So you need to take that survey this week. So you click on that link, and you take the survey. It probably takes about 20 minutes. And then um, it will produce a a report for you, um, kind of a personalized report. Every report will be unique. So it's going to tell you about your unique Uh, characteristics, you know, the things that maybe you want to watch out for. Maybe you're not studying as much as you think you might need to be. Maybe maybe you have concerns about financial aid, that type of thing. We're going to get you the help that you need over the course of this semester. But the results from that survey, and it's all automated, so I know exactly if you've taken it, if you haven't, and in a few weeks uh, I'll add those points into Blackboard. So 20 minutes, 100 points. So really easy. Not too difficult. You don't need to turn anything in. You don't need to print anything off. Uh, It's all automated. So take that survey this week. All right. Any questions? All right. It's one of those nice, there's no wrong answer kind of things. So that's the best kind of points to get. Are you a little tired this morning? Okay. Okay. It it is hot in here, and that will be perfectly miserable for most of the morning, so I'm sorry about that. If it makes you feel any better, we're stuck in here six times a week with how this feels, so we will try to get through it. And they've darkened the room, apparently, and put this in in a way for them to video our presentations today, so know that you may be famous one day from a University Strategies video. So just remember, it's also being recorded, so we want to think about that. Um... You guys bring your books to class? No. Your workbooks? These are important to bring to class, so pull those out. Those of you who didn't, find a buddy. Page 29. Has anyone heard? the smart thinking thing yet? Anybody raise your hand so maybe I can sort of see you. Okay, good. We're going to talk about that a little bit today. Is anybody interested in free tutoring? No. Who said no back there? Okay. Expecting a four point. So if we don't need it, we're good. All right. So to find the smart thinking program, look on your paper here and fill in this little empty box as we go. When, When this went to press, we weren't really sure how we were going to present this yet or how the access was going to be. But this is what you do. Go to Blackboard, okay, and find in your list of courses any course that you have that is open that somebody is using. And I've got those up here that in the classes that I teach, so I'll just check, I'll just click on one of those. Click on any of them that you have, and then over here on your little toolbar, which may look slightly different depending on your courses because instructors can control that a little bit, the very last tab is Tools. Click on that. Then scroll all the way down to Smart Thinking. And you click here, and it makes that noise. Some of you will get this message up here, disable your pop-up blockers. Make sure that you can get those because that's how the program functions. And let's see if it's going to make me do it again. looks like it. And it will load just like this. It will look the exact same way, and it will take it a little bit. So we'll sit here and watch it like it's entertaining, even though it's really not. You can get tutoring in these programs in all kinds of classes, basic math, writing, all the way up to higher order statistics, organic chemistry, all of those sorts of things. And we've already paid for this for you guys, so I would really, really like to see it just used. So these things happen. It's a new day every day in here with these. We have to click here. So they do this little computer test. Click here to continue. You all will have to register, but that only takes a second, so that's not a real big deal at all. Here's all the things that you can do. 
If you click in this box right here, connect with an e-structor, we select a subject. These are all the tutors who are online and ready to help you now. Any of you taking some of these subjects? Yeah, it's instant. There's a whiteboard on there that helps you write mathematical equations and all that kind of stuff, but people will answer your question instantly. Some of these basic math things are available 24-7, so when you have a question at 3.30 in the morning, you can click on this and find out. There are other options, too. If you want to submit some writing, and you can submit writing samples as short as a paragraph, you will get feedback on your writing within 24 hours. Okay, they, there's things that you can check for what you need help on, so that's there. Schedule a personal session. If you need to schedule a time with a tutor, you can do that through this link. And here are some of those things there. So anatomy and physiology, organic chemistry, calculus, intro to accounting, all those kinds of things are there. So if you have a question, you can also put that on there easily. And here are study guides and all sorts of things to help you. Now down here, you've got your schedule, you've got some announcements, and here's your inbox and outbox. For anything that you send through here, you'll get a little note on this resource. So again, this is all free for you, already there. So we're paying for it. We hope that you use it and find some, and find some good uses for that as well. Does anyone have any questions right now about smart thinking? It's pretty user-friendly. If you have questions, though, let us know. I think that you all will enjoy this, and it's, it's much better, you know, when, when I'm instructing classes, I'll come, to, I'll come to work the next day and I'll find, oh, here's my email at 4 o'clock in the morning over something that's due now in a couple of hours, and I can't always get to those questions, but these folks can, some, can help you a little bit more in all of that. So very, very easy to do. One other thing we want to remind you about, have you all got your parking permits? Okay, tomorrow is September 1st. That's when they start enforcing those parking permits. So make sure that you've got those things ready to go. And we're going to talk a little bit about strengths. Brian, you going to back me up on this? Hello? Okay, good. Okay, Brian's got to help me out here. We liked some of this texting stuff last week. Did any of you like that? Yeah. No. For those of you who are always saying no, we probably need to work on a couple of things. So, <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about your strengths. And everybody's got your book, right? You know what your strengths are? They're written in your book? Okay. What we're going to do this week in your large groups and your small groups are just getting to know all of the definitions. That's the very first place that we start, just what this is all about. So we're going to be using our books again here. And Brian, do you want to tell them how all this works? Yeah, now? standard text messaging rates do apply. Uh, no access to your phone number. Capitaliz capitalization doesn't matter, but spaces and spelling do. So make sure you type in the right number as we go through this. So. All right. You got to let us know about this. Think about your strengths and everything. You're invited to a party with people you don't know. Good. Count me in. I'm there. Or, oh, no, not going. Not going to hang out with people I've never seen before. What would you do? And Brian, you're keeping watching our time, right? And all this. All right, we'll try to get, get up to about 80 or so. It's typically how it comes. 48, another 10 seconds or so. To 63. All right. Are you trying to? You can't do that. Right? <laughs> Macy's trying to like, give us more votes for one or the other. <laughs> one time. All right, I think we might be around there. All right, pretty good. 57. So great, count me in. 57% of you, where are you, guys, where are you guys at who are like, yes, count me into that. All right, what are your strengths? What do some of you all have? Strategic, any woos in this, count me in? Oh, yeah, you guys will always want to go, right? Cool. What else? We've got strategic, anything else that you think might relate to this? Why maybe you would go to that party with people you don't know? What? What strength? 
It's a good idea. To, what strengths do you have that may make you want to go? Do you remember? Okay. What about all you adaptability people? Those of you who said yes, how many of you have adaptability? You'd go instantly, right? They ask you, you're ready to go? Maybe. He's thinking about it. All right, so what about Ono? Oh no, there's no way that I'm going to go and meet all these people that I don't know. Where are Ono's? Oh what are some of your strengths? Did you say no? You're a woo, but you still wouldn't go? What is, what's the rest of your strengths? You don't have your book? Okay, good to bring those. So That's okay. It's okay. But you still wouldn't go, even with the woo and the adaptability. No way. Is it the, that you don't know any of the people or you just... Okay, so if it was something else where you could meet people, may, and maybe it is the belief. You're like, that's not something I'm into, so there we go. What? Macy said it's a birthday party for someone you know, which is... Okay, we'll do that. All right, so what else? What were your strengths? That's okay. What are your strengths? Okay, is it in your book? Ah, uh, okay. So he didn't say yes or no, but what do you think? If you've got some of those strengths, are you prone to kind of meet people you don't know or not? Maybe so, seeing a yes there. All right, let's see what the next one is. You guys ready? All right, you were asked to participate in a competition. Would you say let's start now or do we have to? Text in your answer. Do we have to? <laughs> I have no idea how that gets me over 100%. So just, I don't know. Macy, you're trying to vote again two, three, four times? Okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? About halfway there. Oh. Quite a few with competition. Mm -hmm. I think this is the most uneven this one has been all week so far. All right, those of you, what do we think we might find in the people who are ready to start now and have a competition? What do you think? Yeah, definitely competition. Those of you who said yes, any of you have competition? Raise your hands. Yeah, quite a few. What else might be on there? Yeah, what kind of street? Achiever. Anybody say yes and have achiever? Yeah. Because you guys like to get things done, right? Be finished with something. What else might go for competition? Activator. Very, very good point. I don't know exactly where it came from, but that's true. Activators, you guys are ready to go and get something done instantly. So if you're a competitive activator, this is probably really something that you want to do. All right, what about any of our analytical strengths, anything like that? Significance? That might be a competition one. That's a good point. Do you have significance? But that's good. Significance, people, do we remember the definition of that by any chance? Does anybody know what that one means? Significance? Wanting to be rewarded for your work and be around credible and professional people. So that was a good one. All right. So those of you who didn't like competition, do we have to? What are some of your strengths? Anybody with harmony in the, oh, I don't want to compete category? Any harmony folks? Yeah. Some of those folks may not like it. Empathy? Any of that? Yeah. Because we want everybody to feel good about most things, don't we? So why compete if it's going to hurt someone's feelings? Good. Let's go to the next one. All right, you are asked to work on a complex project. I already got one in. Details, yes. Ideas, yes. Which way do you fall? Details or ideas when working with a complex project? And there's no option not to work on something difficult, so we can't pick that one. Detail folks who like all that intricate work. All 
All right, keep them coming in. About halfway there. Seems like we've got a lot of competitive folks who don't really care about details. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. All right, so more idea people. Where are all of our idea people? Okay, got a few. Ideation and intellection. You guys have either one of those? Yeah, you like to think about things. What else do you have if you're an idea person? Any other strengths? Macy's question is, doesn't an activator in a way have ideas? Activators have lots of ideas. They like to start those things and move on. So that's very, very good. Ideation, intellection, activator. Strategic. Anybody strategic who said yes? I think sometimes that's an idea one because you all have the ability to see around all the problems that are going to come up and take care of those things. Anybody really love details? Where are you people who love those details, those small little things that everybody else forgets? Anyone? Got a couple down here. What are y'all's strengths? What are a few things you have? Responsibility, very good for details. What about you guys? Discipline. Any other discipline folks? That's a good detail one. And I didn't hear that back there. Individualization, because you do know a lot of things about people on that, so that is kind of a detail-oriented one. Any others? Okay, let's go to the next one, Brian. See what we've got there. All right, you have to find your way to a place you've never been before. Would you say no problem or no way? Very good on, on this. No problem. Any adaptabilities in this no problem? Yeah, you just kind of... I think there's a huge difference between being lost and not knowing exactly where you are. Huge. <laughs> she's agreeing over there. Huge difference. When I lived in Houston, it has a bunch of different skylines. Most of the time when I lived there, I never really knew where I was. I just knew where my part of the skyline was, and I would just drive towards it, never really knowing. So that works. So anybody else in this no problem, what other kind of strengths do you think might apply? Strategic, because you can solve problems. What about restorative? Maybe that one. Did you have one? Responsibility. Yeah, maybe that there. Okay, no way. Who needs a map everywhere you go? In exact directions. Do you print out directions on the Internet all the time? Turn by turn things? You, you just don't drive when you go. Okay, cool. Tell me your strengths. Consistency, responsibility, discipline, harmony, and restorative. Oh, that's a very interesting combination. You're a problem solver, right? I think you probably would be if you'd let yourself. She, she has some of these strengths that will help her figure a lot of things out, but you do need a little bit of a roadmap to get you started. The consistency does that for you. So consistency, yes, you all do like maps. That's very good. You voted no, right? No way. Okay, good. Let's see what the next one is. We may be close to where we need to take a little break. I like to keep my options for getting through the day open. Would you say, not me, I want it all written down, or I can handle anything the day throws at me? What would you say? Where are you on this one? Brian? Do what? Huh? What? Where are you on this one? I need it all. I want it all written down. I've got to have, I've got to have a plan. So, <laughs> responsibility. Ah. Yeah. Don't want to let anybody down. <laughs> Even if I wanted a plan, I couldn't have one in my job. So. <laughs> Y'all are very this being very adaptable, but the competition and stuff like that's very interesting for your group. Okay, I can handle anything the days throw at me. Don't get knocked off. Your, your way, your path for anything. Again, we're going to see a lot of the adaptability kind of folks in this one. Raising your hand back there. Yeah. 
And all this, well, I want it written down. That's where we're going to see our discipline, consistency, focus, responsibility, those kinds of things. Now, the reason we ask this question, why do you think this question matters? Anybody have a guess? You need to know this when you figure out what kind of job you want. If you're a person who wants everything all written down, structured all the time, you don't want a job like I have. You just don't. I walked in today and literally Brian caught me at the front door. I ran over here because by the time I got in my office and everything that would happen had already happened, there were literally, since I've been in today, four or five different things that were immediate. If I needed a plan, if I had to have it written down, there's just no way that I could survive that well. So this has context and importance in what you choose to do. Because if you find yourself misfit in a kind of job when you first get into these things, it's going to be a very long 30 or 40 years. So think about these things. And I think that there, let's see what the next one is, Brian. We may have to hold that one. We can turn the screen off. Yep. Three or more strengths. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that off. Okay. We're going to take a look at our books again. Got your books? Page 37. Okay, when we look at these strengths, there's a couple of things that you need to add. Under the relating strength, responsibility was left off the list. So those of you with responsibility, you have an additional relating strength there. Okay, so write that in. We make and admit to frequent mistakes in this class. And under thinking, add in strategic. Okay, we're on page 37. So put those two on there so you'll know kind of where you are. Strategic, under thinking, and responsibility, under relating. Okay? So know where those are and know where your things are in that. And we are going to work on a different page now. Turn to page 34. All right, remember these five clues of talent? We started talking about this during our beginning sessions in Freshman Connections. Yearning, the kind of things that you want to do over and over, the kind of activities you're drawn to. For instance, if you are a person, I'm going to pick on your strengths here again with the consistency, discipline, responsibility. You're not going to be drawn to those sudden spur-of-the-moment things that just pop up. You're not going to be a person who's like, oh, I can go now, I can go now. I want to do activities quick and fast and I don't need a plan. It's not going to be what you want to do, right? She's like, heck no. Okay. Rapid learning. Those are the things, remember, that we learn quickly, that we pick up on fast. Flow. Those things we get lost in time with. For lots of you, it's Facebook. You're on there for a bajillion hours at a time and don't even know it. So some of that's on there. Satisfaction. What you want to do over and over again. What makes you happy with things. And glimpses of excellence. Some of us will need other people to help us with those things. So, but it's interesting how much we can learn about our strengths. What are your strengths? I don't know your name in the white shirt. What are your strengths? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you think they play out? What are mine? Strategic, maximizer, ideation, individualization, and woo. So how do you think your strengths play out in something like this class? Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? Do you sit by the same people most of the time? Okay. I think we can see some of these things relating because I can tell how you're interacting very much. Tell me again your strengths. The activator's probably giving you a few things to keep going on. The relator, definitely, from the chatting. So is he using his strengths? Yeah. Productively? Yeah, maybe. We'll get there. But we can see that we use them, you know. So we see these things everywhere. So, what's your name? Joe, thanks for letting me pick on you, but I can see that you have those. So, the challenge, remember, use them for good, not evil. And I just, I had to admit today to using some of my strengths for maybe just a tiny bit of manipulation, but I apologized and got over it. So, and we all did. So, think about those things. Use these to find these. You guys, all your peer instructors, I'm going to give you about five minutes to work on this page and we're gonna, I want to see how you can find your talents. Because remember, our strengths are made of three things. Talents, right? That are innate to us. What are the other two things our strengths are comprised of? Skills. Very, very good. Things we can learn from books or from experience. What's the other thing? One more thing. 
abilities, that's close. Why did we come to college? Learn, knowledge, exactly. So talent, skills, and knowledge, and this will help you get at what those things are. So peer instructors, any faculty folks who are here to help with your classes, um, you guys work in little groups of two or three, so those of you with woo and communication and who like to chat will like this part of class. I'm going to give you about five minutes, and I want to see people filling out these books, thinking about where you can find your talents and strengths, okay? All right, do we have stuff filled in these boxes? Something. It's, it's, this is probably one of the more difficult pages because you honestly have to sit down and think about things, so it takes a little bit of work. Anybody have an example of something, of an activity that they enjoy, that they keep wanting to do again, that may relate to your strength? Anybody have sports in that box? Was that what you had? Cool. A lot of people do. Let's see your hands again. How many sports people really? All right. Any competition within, that, within those? Any achiever, maybe? Cool. Any woo, by chance? Somebody who might want to do that? What else are some of the strengths that you have for those, those of you who put sports in that box? Anybody have something different that may relate? Adaptability? Yeah, because you kind of have to be in playing sports. You can't just always go with the same thing. Good example. All right, rapid learning. What's something that you've learned very, very quickly? Did anybody have a good example of that one? Math. That's been our example in a lot of those. So you learn math really fast. Anybody else like that? Learn math fast? Okay. What are your strengths? Tell us. They're probably in your book. Hopefully in your book. Are they in there? What is it? In election, in election, individualization, who will? Individualization, we're getting it. Maybe the arranger for math, I can see that. So think about things that you pick up there because that's where you're going to want to spend your time. Anybody find an activity you get lost in? Anybody put Facebook or something like that on there? What'd you put? What? Dance? Cool. What are your strengths? Interesting. You think any of those relate to that? May, and maybe the communication, too, depending on how you do some of that. So, interesting. Good example. All right. Satisfaction. What are those kinds of things that you enjoy? If some of you enjoy, like, win, winning, winning, <laughs> competition people again, sure. So, you're drawn to things like games, sports, activities, things where there's a prize, things where there's something you can accomplish. Good. Macy, did you really say cheesecake? Okay. What, what does that relate to your strengths, you think? What are your strengths? Do you remember? Communication achiever, woo learner, and activator. She really likes cheesecake. What do you think she really likes about that? I'm betting you like to go with other people and eat cheesecake. I know, and just go, yeah, so there we go. Glimpses of excellence, folks, this one's very, very difficult. There are not enough people in our lives who tell us we're good at something. And sometimes the things that we're very, very best at, we can't even express. But did anybody have a glimpses of excellence or know something from somebody else that they're very good at? This one will be your, probably your most difficult box. What? This one. Was this not a good idea of whatever is happening here? Glimpses of excellence, folks, rely on people. You know, I would say based on, let's use Brian here since I know him pretty well, some things that he, that he is really, really good at. He is good at making sure that people can understand and making sure that everybody in the group understands what their responsibility and roles are. And that probably does go to your responsibility, I think. Now, whether or not he thinks he's good at it or even can identify it, we don't know. But the things that you're very best at are so innate to you, sometimes you just don't know those. So spend some more time on this page because it's, it's a pretty cool thing to do. It takes a lot of deep thought, though, but it's really the keys to some of this. So if you guys have questions, you can ask us. Okay, a few more polls. Now, on these, you can only vote once. So if you have three or more strengths in one particular domain, text your answer in. And for those of you who don't, it is perfectly fine not to have 
multiple strengths in an area. If they're all spread out, that's just fine. But let's just see what this class is made of. Are we matching them up with the domain right now? Figuring out what's where? Relating, impacting, striving, thinking. Do we have some folks with like two impacting? Do some folks have two? That's a pretty difficult one to find three in. It's just a short list. We have some thinkers in here. Mm-hmm. You don't have three in any area? That's fine. That's fine. You can still be a very effective leader without it. <laughs> okay, looking at this, folks, what do you think? Do you think that we have a room full of thinkers, really? Nope. We could have a room full of thinkers, maybe. Sure, sure. So in that one, if you look at your book, there may be a reason for that if we're on that page again, which is page number 37. The thinking domain is a little bit bigger than some of the others, so that may tell us why we have more of those in there. But yeah, if we were to look at this, we would think that we had a lot of people who could sit here and really help us solve some problems or make our ways in something. All right, on our next few slides, what we're going to look at is we know how common a lot of these strengths are in the world. We want to see if you guys match up to that. So I want to let you know a little bit about the most common and most uncommon strengths. You can see a little bit about where you are, but you can only vote once. So if you have multiple strengths in a category, vote for the one that is highest for you. Okay? Brian? All right, relating strengths, communication, empathy, harmony, includer, individualization, relator responsibility. So if you have one of these, vote for it. If you have more than one, vote for the one that is highest for you. And empathy is spelled wrong. I'm really going to fix that one day. Make sure and silence all communication devices other than the phone, like an iPod, or a, or turn it down to where I can't hear it. Just kidding. Thank you. All right, lots of includers in here. So do you all think this stacks up? How many of you have individualization overall, just any in your top five? Two, three? That one, when I started working with this, was the last one that I ever found anybody, that anybody else had. We had lists and lists of the other ones, but very, very few individualizations. So if you have that one, that's fairly rare. Okay? We do see a lot of communication, a little more of the harmony and empathy. You are very high on the includer list, too. That's not something that I think is one of the most common. How many includers other than the ones who could just put one? Yeah, that's a little bit unusual. So that's a very, very nice strength to have. Let's look at the next one. All right, impacting strengths. Command, competition, developer, maximizer, positivity, and woo. And these are the folks that people usually have lots of stories about. They remember you well for all the for all that you bring to groups. Anybody have one of those? Good. Okay, we got a lot of woos in here, it seems like. Lots of you guys. Is that typical, Evelyn? Is that a lot of woos? You know, not this many, but it is one of the more common ones. Okay, when you all see this, we've got some big differences in here. What do you think is the most rare strength on this screen? I hear command and I hear developer. There aren't as many developers as we would think, so that's a good point. Command is probably, if we rank them 1 through 34, command's in the bottom five. So if you've got command, that's fairly rare. 
Okay. Is anybody have? Are you sad that you don't have it? You do have it, and you have competition, so that's good, huh? Okay. Command, folks. Pretty rare. Use it for good, because those of us with it, um, <laughs> sometimes we don't. It's in my top ten. It kind of fluctuates in there. Any questions about any of these strengths? Let's see. Developers, where are you? Okay. Maximizers, where are you? Really, only a couple. Those two people often get confused. Developers, you see potential in everyone, no matter what. Maximizers, you kind of like to take something that's already good and make it better. Don't kind of like to mess with the we're at zero percent. That's all you do. I know. I know. I'm a maximizer. I get that. Let's go to the next one. The maximizers can also be seen as pushy sometimes because they're like, a little more, a little more, a little more. But we've got to learn to talk about that better. All right. Striving strengths, achiever, activator, adaptability, belief, discipline, focus, restorative, self-assurance, and significance. Choose your highest one in here. For some of you, you may have multiple ones on this one especially. All right, we'll go really fast here because we're running out of time. We want to get to the last slide. A couple of notes on this one. Self-assurance, also in that bottom five. So if you've got self-assurance anywhere, that again is a pretty rare one. One of the things, those of you with belief, kind of raise your hand. That one can also look like competition at some point because there are things you don't want to give up on. So if you're like, I really thought I was going to be competitive. I always want to do this and this. It's probably connected to your strongest core beliefs. Let's check this next one real fast. For those of you who are in large groups but no small groups, we have some extra strength sessions on Thursday and Friday at 3.30. We're going to be playing Strengths Jeopardy, so if you want to come and maybe win a little prize, come on on Thursday and Friday at 3.30. Thinking strengths, analytical, arranger, connectedness, consistency, context, deliberative, futuristic, ideation, input, intellection, learner, and strategic. So those will be over in the UC and you'll get an email. The most common ones on this one, strategic is very common. Um, What we don't see so much of are deliberative and context. Connectedness is also fairly common. All right, folks, if you have questions and we can help you, come see us. Otherwise, have a good week. Have a good day.